everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are at the Luxor in the Pyramid. And this is a one king suite stay well room. I actually booked a two double stay well because it was the same price as a regular two double or two queen room. And uh, they upgraded me to this uh, king suite, also on the stay well floor. And just a quick look around. It is, you can definitely feel that everything's pretty old in here. And, um, but, you know, for the price, seems okay so far. The only thing is these uh, air conditioners, I can't seem to get any heat coming out of them. <laughs> Just cold air. But let's, let's start a tour of the room. So this is the, uh, this is where we came in, this is the entrance. And uh, a couple hangers here, we've got a safe, iron, ironing board in the side there. Uh, we've got a little bit of a small desk. Uh, we've got the bedside table here. Well, you know what? I don't see any plugs are charging. Got a telephone. One plug in behind there. I guess that's what you got to bring your own USB charger. And they're just talking about the traffic. It's Formula One weekend here. Uh, just a quick tip, if you're looking for USB charging ports, there's usually one on the TV, and I think I can see one on the back of the TV there, so I may be using that to charge up my watch. And then here's this, uh, there's two of these air conditioners. And yeah, it's just blown cold air, so I'll probably shut that off unless, uh, <laughs> unless there's a way to get some heat out of it. This side of the bed, yeah, no charging over here. Just one plug way over there where the lamp is. And I kind of... I typically find in some of these hotel rooms where you can't get a lot of light, it's usually for a reason, and they're just probably trying to hide the, uh, just how old everything is. Uh, a friend of mine actually just recently sent me a, <laughs> sent me, a, sent me an article on the dirtiest hotels in Vegas, and this was in the top three, unfortunately. But I'm just here for one night, and it looks like we've got a bit of a hot tub here. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure how you turn it on, because that's just for the light. Anyway, yeah, I probably... Yeah, I don't really plan on using this, so not too worried about turning it on. I guess you could, uh, I don't know, is there something under, no? I don't know, maybe unless that's the control. No, that's probably just the drain. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's not even a whirlpool. It's just a tub. Okay. So there is no turning on. The, you know, I was going to take a, can we see the view out? How do we get these open? Because this might be heading towards the strip. see the view out there. I'll take a look tomorrow and see if I can find the view, and if I can, maybe I'll add it on here. So, we can't, oh yeah, so the stay well, you get the uh, the air cleaner. So I'll probably turn that up to high. And you also get the sound machine, which is over here, which I think just makes sort of like white noise. And then this is kind of the suite. So we've got another TV, a smaller TV here, older TV. A lot of space. Um, seating area over here. We've got a small fridge. I guess that's one nice thing about the suites is you actually get a fridge. Most of the Vegas hotel rooms, they pulled all the fridges out. I can telephone over here. There's another outlet there. And yeah, lots of space in here. And I can kind of show you a little bit of the view because we can actually walk up here. There's the MGM Grand and that's kind of heading north. This is basically facing out the front of the building. And then there's Mandalay Bay. It's all dark so you can't really see and the airport. I'll try and add on some daytime footage of that. Okay, so anything else with this stay well? The big thing for me was the air cleaner just with it being an older uh, property and everything. And then here is the bathroom. And you know, the MGM amenities. Looks like a newer countertop. So this is hair dryer down there, some towels. Looks like this has maybe been partially renovated. And yeah, got some quality here. This is kind of falling off the <laughs> oh boy, kind of falling off the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're supposed to get a stay well shower head too with this. Okay, so there's the body wash and the soap. 
and you can see the shower head right here with the water filter on it. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps things up. There's a map of the tower and all right, if I can add on some daytime footage out the window, I'll do that. And I'll be calling down to see if there's any way to get any heat in here. It does, uh, this time of year, it gets a little chilly in Vegas. Drops to about 11 Celsius, 10 Celsius at night, probably around 50, Celsius, 50 uh, Fahrenheit. Otherwise, I'll be shutting these things off. They're kind of noisy anyway. And this is the view, daytime view. Actually, really nice view of the airport here. See some of the planes taking off. It's the Southwest right there. And there's a helicopter taking off. Couple 747s parked down there, or at least one of them. MGM, Grand, and a bit of the Excalibur. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Just a quick reminder, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.